This is our second visit to Tortola. The last time we came at the end of 2015, this was all being built and now it's all finished. I think this is just evidence of how popular cruising is becoming. Tourist information is now in this little complex and um, you can pick up a brochure. Outside there's all the buses, there's the open top ones, there's the closed in ones for the bus tours, or you can hire scooters. And I can just see a chicken walking across the road. I've made a new friend, this chicken's following me. Tortola is the biggest of the British Virgin Islands, but the currency is American dollars. You can't spend your pounds here. Behind me is the ferry terminal, so if you want to go across to one of the other islands, that's the place to get your ferry. This is the Virgin Island Folk Museum. It's a government-owned museum on slavery, and it's really worth a look. Tsunami evacuation route, you go up. We've just been told what would happen in the case of a tsunami. The lights would flash, the lady would run out of the hut, shout tsunami, wave her arms, and everybody runs up the hill. It's a garlic vine, but it doesn't smell of garlic. Purple wreath. Behind me is the curator's house, very colonial looking. This is Fishlock Hall, it's the curator's house, and it's where they hold their meetings. There are some beautiful plants and flowers in here, but unfortunately it's not very well labelled. This is the lipstick tree, so I guess it must have a red or a pink flower. This is night jessamine. I can't smell that jasmine smell though that you'd expect.
This is Bathsheba Beach. Very, very different. It's the Atlantic side of Barbados. So we go, we're going this way. Iris's walk. Oh, wow. This is so pretty here. This is the bearded fig tree, and you can see why it gets its name. And it is how Barbados got its name, Los Barbados, the bearded one. Oh. Yes. Nice and cool under here. 